Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical, find the DFT of the sequence X of N which is equal to del of N plus 2 times del of N minus 2 plus del of N minus 3. For such a sequence I need to find the DFT. So let me consider, let me start with the solution. So how do I find the DFT of this? First let me write x of n in simple terms. It is given as in terms of is a sum of impulse responses, sum of shifted impulse responses. So what I do is 1 del of n that means this is amplitude is 1, 1 into del of n that is the value at the 0th position which is amplitude is 1 plus 2 times del of n minus 2 there is no n minus 1 that means its amplitude must be 0 correct then 2 times del of n minus 2 that means its amplitude is 2 so this is what the amplitude is correct then del of n minus 3 it must be 1 into del of n minus 3 hence its amplitude must be 1 so ultimately I have to find the DFT of such a sequence before I consider uh, the formula with the uh, formula of DFT let me uh, write the twiddle factor values W4 to the power 0 we know this is 1 similarly W4 to the power 1 which is equal to minus J and then we also know W4 to the power 2 which is minus 1 and lastly W4 to the power 3 which is plus J. So this, these are the four total factors we must be knowing to find the uh, four point DFT of this sequence. Yes, no, now uh, we can start with the formula X of K which is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n then we have w n to the power k into n so what is capital n here so it is a four point dft hence it must be four therefore summation n is equal to 0 to 4 minus 1 that is 3 x of n w n that is w 4 to the power k into n so now I need to expand this summation by varying n first let me put n is equal to 0 so that I would get x of 0 w n to the power k into 0 which is 0 then let me put n is equal to 1 I would get x of 1 w 4 to the power k into 1 that is k plus let me put n is equal to 2 so that I would get x of 2 w4 to the power k into n n is 2 into k that is 2k plus n is 3 x of 3 w4 to the power k into n n is 3 into k that is 3k so now therefore x of k is equal to just let me put the values x of 0 what is x of 0 x of 0 is 1 into wn to the power 0 which is 1 correct plus x of 1 what is x of 1 x of 1 is a 0 into anything is still 0 so I will leave that then I'll move on to x of 2 which is 2 w4 to the power 2k correct plus x of 3 is 1 w4 to the power 3k so this is one of the very important thing x of k just let me put this in a box sorry just let me put this in a box so that uh, we can use this for further simplifications so now what I do is I'll find f the first DFT coefficient for k equal to 0 that means I will put k equal to 0 in this equation what what is going to happen this is 1 plus 2 times w4 to the power 0 plus w4 to the power 3 into 0 which is 0 so now what is the answer of this this is 1 plus 2 plus 1 which turns out to be 4 x of 0 is equal to 4 that means this is the first DFT coefficient we just have found now similarly moving further 
I will make the variable k is equal to 1. I let that vary k equal to 1. Therefore, I would get x of 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 times w4 to the power 2 into 1 plus w4 to the power 3 into 1 that is 3. So, what are these things? This is 1 then I have w4 to the power 2 if I go up and check w4 to the power 2 is minus 1 hence this becomes minus 2 w4 to the power 3 what is w4 to the power 3 it is plus j so simplifying this what I'm going to get I'm going to get minus 1 plus j so this is the uh, x of 1 that is second DFT coefficient so let me also put this in a box yes so moving further so now what I do is I will put k is equal to 2 I'm going to get x of 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 times w4 to the power 2 into 2 that is 4 plus w4 to the power 3 into 2 that is 6 so do I know what is w4 to the power 4 and w4 to the power 6 I do not know but I, st I can still write the answer for those things by considering the periodicity property of twiddle factor that means 0 1 2 3 if 4 I'll write it something like this 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and so on so what I want now I want so this is 1 plus 2 times w4 to the power 0 is nothing but w4 to the power 0 w4 to the power 4 is nothing but w4 to the power 0 which is 1 this is 1 plus 2 plus w4 to the power 6 is nothing but w4 to the power 2 what is w4 to the power 2 which is minus 1 correct so let me write minus 1 so what I'm going to get I'm going to get 2 as the answer the third DFT coefficient x of 2 turns out to be 2 so this is my third DFT coefficient similarly moving further I can find the last DFT coefficient k is equal to 3 I would get x of 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 times w4 to the power what I have 2k that is 2 into 3 I'm going to get 6 plus w4 to the power 3k 3 into 3 I'm going to get 9 so let me simplify this further 1 w4 to the power 6 is nothing but w4 to the power 2 w4 to the power 2 is nothing but minus 1 2 into minus 1 I'm going to get minus 2 is that right w4 to the power 9 w4 to the power 9 is nothing but w4 to the power 5 which in turn is equal to w4 to the power 1 w4 to the power 1 is nothing but minus j so I would get minus j over here so what is the answer simplified thing is minus 1 minus j so this is the last DFT coefficient x of 3 is that okay so let me also put this in a box so now I have found all four DFT coefficient I would sum up all those things and I would write finally x of k is equal to what was x of 0 that is 4 minus 1 plus j 4 minus 1 plus j then I have 2 as the answer and then I have minus 1 minus j so these are the DFT coefficients for DFT coefficients x of k for the given sequence x of n this is one of the simplest numerical again in DSP using the concept of the discrete Fourier transform and I have explained this numerical step by step I hope you people have understood if uh, still there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching